Hi there, and thanks for joining me as we talk about the opioid-containing antidiarrheal agents. Loperamide and diphenoxalate are oral opioid receptor agonists that are used to decrease diarrhea. Any opioid like morphine and codeine will decrease diarrhea, or it'll cause constipation in people without diarrhea. But loperamide and diphenoxalate are sold as antidiarrheal agents. Loperamide is preferred because diphenoxalate is addictive and has many more side effects. Diphenoxalate is normally sold in combination with atropine to decrease the addictive properties of the drug. The action of these drugs is on the opioid receptors in the gut, and let's take a look at how they work. As we know, in the intestines, there are wave-like movements that are called peristalsis, and they're activated by contraction and relaxation of the circular and the longitudinal layers of the muscle in the gut. Loperamide and diphenoxalate are opioid receptor agonists that act on the opioid receptors in the myenteric plexus of the large intestines. And that decreases the activity of the myenteric plexus, which decreases the tone. This results in less movement, and with less movement of the intestines, the fecal matter stays in the intestines longer, and that allows the water to be absorbed from the fecal matter. Loperamide is poorly absorbed in the GIT, and therefore it pretty much acts locally, and even less loperamide is actually going to get, get into the blood-brain barrier. So uh, there's very little effect on the brain with loperamide. In comparison, though, diphenoxalate is well absorbed and does cross the blood-brain barrier, so it's a central nervous system depressant. And aside from the fact that loperamide has less side effects than diphenoxalate, the loperamide is also more effective than diphenoxalate. Since loperamide is considerably safer and more effective than diphenoxalate, we're going to concentrate on the safety recommendations for loperamide, except for one thing. I just wanted to point out one thing about diphenoxalate. If that is used and it's overused to treat the constipation, it could actually start causing respiratory depression. So naloxone is used to reverse that respiratory depression. With respect to the loperamide, regardless of the individual country's recommendations, there's a lot of reports that suggest that children under the age of three should not consume the loperamide. And there's other recommendations which the loperamide should not be used in the cases of bloody diarrhea and also loperamide should not be used in treating bacterial enterocolitis. So remember what's happening in a bacterial infection that's inflaming the intestines and the colon. Uh, that In that case, there's a lot of toxins, there's bacteria that we need to expel, and uh, taking an antidiarrheal agent could actually be dangerous. The normal way of taking loperamide is to take a loading dose in the first instance, so a double dose in the first instance, and then take a normal dose for up to 48 hours, and then discontinue the loperamide after 48 hours period. And prior to a person being given loperamide, remember that the person is complaining of diarrhea. They could actually be dehydrated or have electrolyte imbalances, and some type of assessment should be done for the person who has diarrhea, 
especially if they're the very young or the very old. And now you understand that loperamide and diphenoxalate are oral opioid receptor agonists that are used to decrease diarrhea. While any opioid like morphine, codeine, decrease diarrhea, loperamide is the safest and most effective medicine if the problem is just diarrhea. And the reason is that very little loperamide actually gets into the system and even less loperamide enters the blood-brain barrier. And these medications affect the opioid receptors in the myenteric plexus of the large intestine. And that decreases the activity of the circular and the longitudinal layers of the muscle in the gut. And by decreasing that, the fecal matter is going to stay in the intestines longer and more water is going to be absorbed from the fecal matter. Prior to a person being given loperamide, an assessment of the person's hydration status should be undertaken to ensure that there are no electrolyte imbalances. And now you know. Thanks for joining me.